welcome so this is the uh, set of slides on email writing specifically what are the do's and don'ts when you are writing emails okay uh, email etiquette demands that you be prompt in your replies uh, people tend to write emails because they are looking for a quick reply so if they send you a email they do expect a reply within maybe maximum 2 days so if you expect to reply beyond uh, this uh, time limit it's always nice to write to them saying i have received your mail and i am planning to respond to you by this date and your responses uh, should be simple direct and short email is not the place to write uh, huge stories okay typically people write emails to get information or to to get something done unnecessarily long emails are distracting and and it's not a good idea to do it and there is also another mistake that people do i have found out uh, that uh, they sign up for services Uh, which floods the mailboxes of people who send them mails okay and those are unnecessary mails there are services which will tell the sender that uh, yes the mail has been received and uh, i will respond this is uh, totally unnecessary we don't want any robot to come and uh, tell us that okay so so and so has received the mail we actually would like the person to respond so this kind of services when you sign up you have to be careful especially your professional account you should not sign up for these services and also you should be careful when signing up for services which send mails to all your contacts because your mail id might have hundreds of contacts some of them are your students some of them are your colleagues some of them are your superiors and some of them are professional contacts who are somewhere else maybe editor of some journal or some professor somewhere else and it's not nice to send uh, common mails about uh, some service to all of them so when you sign up for these services you should avoid signing up your professional email id for these services so you should keep people posted if there will be delay you should let them know in advance and suppose if you told them that i'll be getting back to you by such and such date and if you are not able to before that date you should write a short email indicating that there is going to be delay and the probable date by which you will get back to them and you should keep to your timelines uh, this is very important so sometimes there are mails which are time bound so within that timeline you are expected to reply and you should uh, do it and uh, there is another thing uh, so you have to be extremely careful with attachments i have seen people uh, sometimes making this mistake uh, so there are ways in which you can put larger files online and giving a link for people to download so you should as much as possible use that option even when you have a green signal from the other person for receiving attachments sometimes when you have attachment because the attachment is big it takes some time for the mail to be sent and if you are impatient and if you don't notice that uh, there is a sending information that is showing up and you, if you keep uh, clicking the other person's mailbox gets flooded four or five copies of the same mail and each mail has a big attachment so so please do not click send more than once and that can flood the uh, recipient's email uh, inboxes and uh, you should use email sparingly and professionally in the professional context okay thank you